So, once again, we have your attention. The entire purpose of the uh, videos that uh, the old man, this uh, savior of the world, this master teacher, this individual who has undergone a revelation through a devastating experience contained within his own memory patterns, is your willingness somewhere within the fabric of space-time to allow us to communicate. Say to me, miracles are moments of communication. Yes, that will be the beginning of the second hour of the video that we have entitled, How Will the World End? And as you remember in the first hour, we talked about the predetermination that we assess together the idea that the world is nothing but our mutual intent to make it that. And that at any moment, through the auspices of a continuing alternative contained within the fabric of the continuity of time, we can decide among ourselves new associations of time that will give us happiness. One thing we know for sure in this healing mechanism, the decision to occupy this body and to remain in transition between the idea of separation and the entirety of universal mind is one that we can and are making in the sharing of the power of our minds to identify ourselves in objective associations of body form. This is our Course in Miracles a systematic way to teach you to a revisioning of yourself in the particulars of self-identity that have held you in the bondage of the ideas of this world. We like to begin, if you uh, go along now, with the idea that we're suddenly going to present to you in this entirety of association, the acknowledgement of self-responsibility. There's very little effort that can be acceptable to you in the fundamental premise of the teaching of miracle healing, unless somewhere within the factoring of your own mind, you'll be willing to acknowledge that the, the teaching of the entirety of a whole mind is in regard to you accepting responsibility for what you're seeing in order to understand yourself as causation. So what we do is we begin with the factoring that's contained uh, as the fundamental reason and purpose for the Course. And also in Chapter 21, the idea that you can employ a reasoning process where it will become increasingly obvious to you that available to you is a new continuum of time. Let's begin with the fundamental premise. Listen. The only thing that you need do for vision, happiness, release from pain, and the complete escape from sin, all to be given you. Say only this, but mean it with no reservation, for here the power of salvation lies. I am responsible for what I see. I choose the feelings I experience, and I decide upon the goal I would achieve, and everything that seems to happen to me, I ask for and receive as I have asked. Deceive yourself no longer that you are helpless in the face of what is done to you. Acknowledge but that you have been mistaken, and all effects of your mistakes will disappear. It is impossible the Son of God be merely driven by events outside of Him. 
It is impossible that happenings that come to him were not his choice. His power of decision is the determiner of every situation in which he seems to find himself by chance or accident. Why? No accident nor chance is possible within the universe as God created it, outside of which is nothing. Suffer and you decided sin was your goal. Be happy and you gave the power of decision to him who must decide for God along with you. What an incredible idea that if I can employ the practice of this miracle procedure not to decide, that the decision will already have been made. What a warm welcome these teachers of God are beginning to receive now as they go out with this Course in Miracles International into the world, teaching the immediacy of the availability of a choice within the concepts of the human species to decide anew each instant the factoring that he wants to prevail within his own mind. Very simply a whole alternative that has always been available to you within your idea that you needed to suffer sickness and pain and loneliness and death. So here's our fundamental premise, and let's share it together just for a moment. I'm a projection of the associations that are contained within your own mind. It is impossible I am not representing to you with your willingness to accept it. A miraculous occurrence of a complete alternative available to you this is particularly in the teacher's manual to the last, last lessons that we did. Is Remember, how is judgment relinquished? And the practice you have learned to employ when I begin to represent to you the harmony that can be evident in our mind associations with each other. There it was. At that moment, you decided to experience the peace and happiness of the true reality that is present with you within this continuum, despite the objections that are obvious within the matrix of effects in which the causation is no longer present. Continuing practice. This world was over a long time ago. All of the memory factors that you and I are beginning to share here and now are a part of the procedures of our own minds contained within the faculty that expresses uh, the species. The fundamental idea that life exists in temporal associations destined to begin and end with no particular perceptual observation of what came before or what will come after. The provision I am offering you through my revelation, through my moment of devastation, is the certainty that inherent in you by the mere identification of yourself as a human is a recognition of a moment before time began and after it's over. In our Course in Miracles we call this a holy instant and we are determined that you recognize with us that this world that lasted just for a moment and was over and gone, if you perceive yourself as lasting within this particular, will be only for that moment so that it won't be necessary for you to sequence time in your own association.